welcome to The Conscious Investor. Let's get started. I have been anticipating this day for I think at least two and a half months now. I am so over the moon excited that we are transforming today at the very first day from the Ask Me How I Know podcast into the Conscious Investor. It is such a natural transition for Ask Me How I Know, and it is that heartbeat that you, my amazing listeners, I I believe that this this transformation is really going to resonate with what you are loving from the Ask Me How I Know podcast. So I wanted to give you a little insight as to what happened and and to hopefully you will take time to reflect in your own life as to what transformations do you need to have the courage to take. Transformation takes courage and letting go of one thing um, and allowing it to morph and evolve into the next, the next opportunity. It's emotional. It can be challenging in and of itself. Change is challenging. When I think about children growing, and I've been saying this a lot recently, I've been using this analogy, and that is when kids grow, we recognize that they have literal physical growing pains, and we accept those growing pains as that's normal. Of course, you'd be having growing pains. You just grew like six inches in the last two weeks, right? (laughs) But we don't necessarily remember that as adults. And as we are making any transformation, as we are growing, we are going to feel some of those growing pains and no different than my son turning into a young man and going from his little boy face to, you know, fuzzy sideburns and a mustache and such, um, those transformations are physical and we can see those changes. Change and transformation, they're like all this to say, change and transformation, it feels a way. It has a physical implication of how we feel about it, an emotional implication. It has a physical um, representation. So when I'm thinking about the change from the Ask Me How I Know podcast into the Conscious Investor, it's similar to that. It is a transformation and it is emotional. I have big feelings about this, all sorts of feelings. Um, It's a little bittersweet when, and I get teary-eyed every time I think about it because ask me how I know is where I began. I didn't know a thing about podcasting. I didn't know how to use any of the um, equipment that went into podcasting. I had to learn so much and struggle to learn how to do all of that. And it was so worth it because we met because of that. And so many of you have reached out to me to say, wow, that episode really helped me out, Julie. Oh, wow, that guest. And many of you have connected with guests um, on so many different topics. It might be that you connected on a personal level. And I know some of you have ended up, you know, doing some business together. It's so exciting to me to see what my initial leap of faith to launch the Ask Me How I Know podcast, what that created for every one of us. The conscious investor is going to continue to create that. And that's what happens with change. When we go back to a child growing and changing, the child doesn't all of a sudden not, they're not, not that person. Every single one of us, we're still the same. We we were birthed into this world by our mothers and we have evolved and transformed over time. We've grown, we've, you know, gone through a change from childhood into, you know, an adult body. And at that point, some of us have gained some wrinkles and maybe some gray hairs. Okay. We're constantly evolving and changing as people. I loved the conversations that I had with every one of my extraordinary guests. I'm so grateful for them. And now these conversations will continue to be unscripted 
but they will also be very much on target deep dives. This is might blow your mind, but I'm using the same one hour recording slot for each of my podcast guests. And it feels like every mini episode that we are creating within that hour, every one of those feels like so much more. It feels like these condensed mini episodes that I know so many of you are going to appreciate because so many of you have said, oh, I love those shorter episodes because I like the satisfaction of, you know, having completed an episode. And now you'll be able to have that, you know, 10, 15 minute episode. And the conversation is so rich, so deep. I have no doubt you're going to, you, after 15 minutes, I would love to hear your feedback. So let me put it like that. As I'm having these conversations, those 15 minutes seem like an entire hour. The conversations are so focused, so on target. I have no doubt you're really going to enjoy the richness of it and what it allows you to, you know, contemplate from that episode throughout the day. You're going to see three episodes with every single guest. You're going to have an episode where I'm going to introduce them and they're going to share a little bit of their background. And that's just one mini episode. We're going to have another mini episode and it's all on what are they consciously pursuing in life, relationships, finances, business. What are you actually consciously pursuing? There's no fluff. It's real. And the final segment that we're going to be releasing each week is going to be, you know, what one mindset shift have you made that just transformed your entire life? As always, I asked the questions on your behalf because I know so many of you listeners, and I, I think I know some of the questions that you would want me to ask. And if ever there's a question that you think, Julie, you need to ask this question more often, please like shoot me a message. Let me know, because I want to, you know, be a bridge between, you know, you and my guests so that you are getting everything you want from every single episode. Now that I've told you a little bit about the format, I'm going to go back to transformation. How are you transforming? How are you evolving? You see, we're not supposed to stay the same version of ourselves forever. We'll always have those little imprints of who we were in the past, those little reminders, but our past never dictates in, or nor does it define our future. And so I want to encourage you to make sure that you are going to future self and, and look back Look back on who you want to be. And, and that's going to shift as you grow and develop, but always be looking, who am I, who am I growing into? And when you have that person in mind, use that person to look back on your life now, to speak into your life. It's so critical to be doing this. I want to use this one analogy before we wrap up. And I want to encourage you. Some of you who have kids are going to get this. And some of you might even remember, you know, like trading Pokemon cards or playing Pokemon. My son has, and uh, he likes the Pokemon cards, even still, which is surprising. And those Pokemon cards evolve, right? And so you get the basic one and then they continue to evolve from there. And as they evolve, they gain more skills and abilities and powers and, and they, they change but they're still the same um, character that they were from the very get-go. It's just the next version of that character. I want to encourage you to become that next version of you. You're not meant to stay basic. You're not meant to stay as the little um, basic Pikachu. You need to evolve into that next version of yourself. Ask Me How I Know is officially evolved into the next version of itself. I don't know what the future holds, which sounds kind of contradictory since I just said you should look to the future, but this was me looking to the future and, and you know, coming back and making some choices. And on that note, it's interesting to also remind each of us that who we surround ourselves with matters. I had had this feeling inside of me, this, this intuition that was saying, 
ask me how I know it needs to evolve. It needs to, to shift. It needs to transform. I didn't know how, and I didn't know what it looked like. And I allowed that question to continue to swirl inside of my head. And I, you know, brought it up in conversation with a few people, but not many. But when my friend Austin came up to visit, um, to escape the California fires, we were talking and he said, what's your podcast about? And I stumbled over my words and the entire hike that we had, we were re rebranding the ask me how I know podcast. So who you are surrounding yourself with will make a powerful difference in your life. People who understand the message that you are trying to deliver and carry to the world, your willingness to listen to yourself, your willingness to allow um, input from others on topics that are important in your life, those are going to change and influence the path that unfolds before you. This is an important change to take place. And this is the perfect time to do it. I'm so grateful to have you as an amazing listener and to have you part of this change. And I would love to to ask you, please help me out, help get this, um, help get the conscious investor out. Please share it as we make this transformation. Let's get that word out. So many people are struggling. So many people are confused and they are unsure about how to go about living their very best life, how to go about unleashing their dreams and their potential and how to harness their talent. We're going to be unpacking all of that continually here on The Conscious Investor. We're going to be helping people like you level up. So people like you, my wonderful listeners, you know other people who need this podcast and this fuel into their lives. Please share it. And I'd like to invite you as well to join the new Facebook group. I don't, I, you know, everybody has their sentiments on Facebook, but it really is great for being able to create a space where people can share conversation and dialogue, people with a similar, you know, mindset and a direction that they want to grow. So I want to encourage you head over to the conscious investor um, over on Facebook and join the group. I would love to have you there um, and not just have this you see me on YouTube or you hear me on your podcast platform, but we actually get to interact and engage in a more meaningful way. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, live big, love bigger. Feeling alone, disconnected? Conscious investors often feel alone or disconnected because of their unique perspective and desire to expand their thinking. But the journey of a lifetime isn't meant to be solo or forged by grit alone. Join the Conscious Investor community on Facebook, link arms, exchange ideas, and expand your thinking on finances, relationship, and community. Join the Conscious Investor group on Facebook today.